Hi, this is Alex. I'm from Park Avenue LASIK. Today I'm going to be interviewing my boss who uh, performed the non-cutting LASIK procedure for me and now I see better than 2020. Thank you, Dr. Chen. Thanks, Alex. Okay, so I have a question for you. Most of our audience on YouTube doesn't don't know the difference between LASIK and SafeSight. Can you please tell us a little bit more about the difference? Well, LASIK is the procedure that I've done myself, and I did about 5,000 of them. You cut a flap, if you look at the cornea, you cut a flap, you lift up the flap, you laser, you laser change the shape of the cornea, gets rid of your prescription, and then you put the flap back down. The problem is that the cutting step is uh, dangerous, and it has complications. Uh, we got rid of the cutting step, so we're the only center in New York City, actually we're the only center in the United States, as far as I know, that has a glass OR, everybody can watch from the outside, it's because we just can't have a complication, so we've got nothing to hide. It's kind of like the co co concept of an open kitchen. Okay, so why are there less complications in this procedure that you perform the safe site? It's because we eliminated the cutting step, so we don't have any dry eyes. I have some dry eyes because when I have my LASIK, uh, you cut the corneal nerves, you get some dry eyes from that because you don't blink well afterwards. And I have some night glare because again, when you take up the flap, you lift it up, you put it back down, you, you see you wind up with a two-part cornea, a two-piece cornea. So when the light comes in, it starts scattering across this little interface. That interface never heals. So I have some night glare. My day vision is good, my night vision is bad. And also, if you get punched in the eye, we just had a person uh, yesterday. Um, I did LASIK on her about 12 years ago. Uh, some kid hit her in the eye with a little tiny toy and her flap came up and now she's got a complication. So if you don't have a flap, you can't have a problem with that because there's no flap to come up. Right, so why doesn't everybody get this procedure? It seems so safe. Um, why wouldn't anybody decide to get it? Well, this is why we're doing more YouTube because there's a lot of misinformation there about LASIK. People like, oh, it's very uncomfortable, it takes long to heal, it's uh, like a pair case, not true. Now, LASIK was invented by two of my preceptors when I was at Harvard and I've refined it every year for a decade and now LASIK, it doesn't hurt at all. I mean, you had it yourself, so you could change the video to point to you. And then, did it hurt you when, when we did it, Alex? Because, you know, it, it, was it comfortable? Or, you know, the little spin figure spins it around? Actually, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. Okay, so, uh, you could just rotate it then. Okay, so, so did it, did it, was it uncomfortable when you had it done? Uh, actually, it was very, very comfortable. I uh, had enough valium and laughing gas, so I was a uh, Yeah, very... we're, the, we're the only center that has laughing gas, by the way, so it's fun, actually, maybe? Yeah, it was a good experience. I remember it was uh, very calming, so I was not nervous at all, even though the day before I was very, very nervous about my And it didn't procedure. hurt, right? Because on the internet, everyone says LASIK hurts, it's like PRK. It's LASIK not didn't hurt at all, actually. Uh, I think that... You know, I was totally fine yeah, for, for the and whole then, weekend. And then how, I, I how long did it take you to see to see well? Like so, uh, I, I had it over a little bit before Christmas. So uh, right um, right after Christmas, I was ready to go Christmas shopping. So yeah. I was I was ready to uh, go and get out there. Yeah, so, so it's, it's a good. couple of days. It's not it like, all, yeah, it's yeah, only yeah. Days. is like a couple of weeks. The so LASIK gets a bad rap because people think it's like PRK. So you want to just we could kind of finish with the difference between LASIK and PRK. So. PRK is an older procedure. Uh, it was the first laser vision correction procedure 30 years ago. I did my last PRK in 1999, okay? So I have the, my transformation in laser vision correction as a surgeon is the same as the transformation historically, the evolution of laser vision correction. My first procedure was uh, RK, AK, the ticket and diamond knife and cutting it. Not that accurate, okay? Then I went to laser. The first laser procedure was PRK. I did that for a few years. It hurts a lot. There's pain and scarring. I gave that up. Then I went to LASIK, which is a cutting procedure. The recovery is very, very quick. They're totally painless, but there's complications with the flap, as we discussed. Then I went to interlace, which is cutting a flap with a laser, decreases the amount of complications. You still have complications because you get punched in the eye, that flap's coming up, okay? So it's slightly safer than LASIK, but you can't avoid the night glare and the halos and all the dry eye stuff because you're still cutting a flap. And then I went to LASIK with an E, which we call safe site, that's non-cutting, but it's like a PRK in the safety, but it's a, like a LASIK in the recovery. So it's the best of both worlds. And finally, I went to um, EpiLASIK, which is essentially the very latest thing you can get. 
and uh, you see really well quickly. As soon as you set it from the laser, you're legal to drive. You hit 20-20 within a week, and after a month, half of our patients are better than 20-20 because their vision keeps getting uh, better. The LASIK patients, the vision stops getting better after a week. So they catch up to the LASIK vision, and then they surpass it. Okay, so we just want to get the word out here. All right, thank you, Dr. Chen. Uh, so we can. Uh, you guys can come in, our consultations are absolutely free and uh, we can uh, tell you whether you are a candidate for LASIK but we do, most of our candidates are for, uh, are able to get LASIK because uh, we don't cut a flap. So. Yeah, a lot of people who can't get LASIK can get LASIK. Okay, so if you have a high prescription, thin cornea, irregular astigmatism, all these things that people say you can't get LASIK, you got to come in here because 90 times out of 100 we can do the non-cutting procedure. All right. Thank you, Dr. Chen. Thanks, Alex.